Conflict is never pleasant, but it can be very constructive. I want to share with you a few tips or maybe a stepwise plan how you can get the best outcome from conflict. The first step is obviously to engage and to talk to each other. Make an appointment if need be and try to focus on a time or set a time aside where you can be calm, cooperative and not being interrupted. It's important then when you start to engage to really focus on behavior and not to focus on the person. Be specific in identifying the event that caused the conflict and don't use generalizations. Really say when this happened, not when you did this. Otherwise, it very easily becomes a blame game. It's then very important to really listen to understand. So many times we listen just to reply. It's important that you really get to what is this about. Ask questions if you need and really clarify what has led to the point where you're at in this conflict situation. It's then very important to clarify with the other person also what you agree on and what you disagree on. It's very seldom that it's impossible to find some touch points where you can work from, which always help if you can almost build on that positives during the situation. It's then important to prioritize. Often conflict escalates in smaller conflicts and smaller disagreements. Not all of them are really important, but get to the one that really hurts the most or really is the most contentious and start with that and maybe list the others as secondary objectives to address. It's then important to plan on what you're going to do. Will you get someone else involved to mediate? Is it something that you can have regular meetings about or regular kitchen meetings if it's more informal? But make sure that you schedule this and really commit to your action plan. Sometimes it also involves getting more information. It's often just a misunderstanding or a lack of information that creates the conflict in the first place. When you've committed to this and to your plan that you mutually agree on, it's very important that you actually do follow through. One meeting is not enough. There should be follow-up meetings that is scheduled and planned, which can clean the air in between meetings, but it also shows your commitment to address the situation. In this, you can then follow up on what still needs to be done, what has been achieved. And that is so important to give yourself and the other party credit for what has changed for the positive and what you have achieved. It's always having that focus of let's work together to a solution and really to give each other credit and to recognize that the relationship is way more important than the conflict.